Hey vlog, I'm all packed up. I did not want to show you the pack in progress because it was boring because I'm gonna have a lot of really cool footage from where I'm going right now. Shelby and I are about to head out to Joshua Tree. Just had to say hi, hello, I'm ready to go. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but I'm excited for this little staycation. Let's get on the road. We've been driving on this random dirt road. Oh, and they're just there. Woohoo! Up we go. Oh my god, crazy. They look like just piles of garbage. No, they don't. They look nice. They look like, I mean, shipping containers, but they're so nice and bougie on the inside. Okay. I mean, they've got cool windows. I feel like they look <sighs> like a little house. So it's two separate ones and like kind of a mini half third one. <gasps> This is I just love so all the windows. Cool. And there's a ping pong table. We made it. We're here. It looked so strange because like we're actually in the freaking desert in the middle of nowhere. And then there's this very cool little spot. Made it to the shipping container. Wanted to show you around. It was featured on HGTV. I don't know much about it. Someone named Ben Uyeda or something. I don't know. Here's this. The first one. We going in. How cool is this? It's so modern. I love the like colors and the design. It really is, like Shelby said, it's a lot wider than you'd think. Just like small details. Anytime I hear the word shipping container, I think of Dexter and it's um, in much scarier terms. So this is pretty cool. Giant microwave situation. Look at all this. Teeny little bathroom but like the right amount of size. I actually love how small this sink is. This is great. Shower. And then you walk in here and here's a bedroom. And it's like actually very nice and cozy. Oh my God, they really, they thought of everything. This is so cool. And then you go out here. We have a little this situation random rock chair. These look really cool. I love how this was put together. And um, apparently we can open these doors so it can kind of be like an indoor outdoor kitchen situation. And then we come over here. There's a grill, this little day bed, and then the second shipping container. Oh, that was a great sound. And it's just like a little mini, a little mini version of it, but it's, it's pretty spacious, like a ton of room. Bathroom, bathtub, which I will totally be in later. This is pretty nice for a shipping. I don't know. I, I've never been, I've never experienced anything shipping container wise, house wise. This is cool. Good find, Shelby. Shelby's getting some B roll. I've got my beer I'm waiting here on standby. I'm like the film crew today. This place is very cool. I'm gonna show you this little back part of this area thing. What's funny is Shelby and I brought stuff to make pizza tonight. That grill is what our plan was. And then look at this. They have this little teeny tiny pizza oven with a little pizza paddle with a skull on it. But we don't have any like charcoal or anything to start it with. This looks like some type of, I mean, I would consider it like a beer pong table. Like you would put this as like a cooler, but it looks like really nicely well-made. So I don't want to mess with it, but pretty cool. Pretty freaking cool. This is interesting. This makes me want to like go watch the HGTV special that it was featured on. Everyone um, who reviewed this Airbnb was like, we've been following this adventure for a while and it was so surreal to see it in person. So that'll be kind of cool. I hope it's just as cool after the fact, but not too shabby. Little, little staycation. Just finished helping Shelby with her video toward this place a little bit. Now we're getting hungry. It's like 6.20 already, so Shelby had the idea to make pizza, so we're gonna do that. I've never done that before, yeast and all. I haven't either. It'll be good. An ounce of yeast, I'm not really sure how to measure that, but it'll be good. Was 
listening to some Beatles. I'm gonna drink some Altos Del Plata Malbec. Shelby, what are you drinking? It's a Chateau Saint Michel Chardonnay. Chardonnay. I like these wine glasses. Yeah. They feel really nice. You look, you look very like, bougie. Like, yeah. Really oh, and they actually have a difference between red wine glasses and white wine glasses. Drink out You're right drinking now? out of a red one, but that's okay. I like the feel more. I have a well, because the white ones look like this, and the red ones look like what Shelby has, but you know what? The white ones are smaller. We in the desert. Doesn't matter. Shelby over here making some legit pizza dough. Very impressed. Pizza chef Shelby is, oh, Salt Bay. <laughs> Yeast Bay? Is that what it's called? I don't know what you're talking about, Salt Bay, but I heard you say that the other day, too, and I need to look it up. You don't know what, yes, you do. Salt Bay? What is it? The, it's, this, it's that meme of that guy and he goes like this, and he's like, Salt Bay with like the mustache. And I don't, I don't know who made it a thing, but it became a thing. Okay, we're making pizza, and shred we're and cheese. This as a rolling pin. Yeah, we're gonna get a little creative here. It's gonna be great. Shelby's dough and rolling pin worked out fabulously. We may or may not have had a few oatmeal spills, but hey, builds character, right? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Call us like chefs. This is very, very it impressive. Looks so good. Are we like um, a tasty video? Yeah. I think we are. There's like crap all over my hands right now, but this is this is great. And you rolled it out with like an oatmeal jar. Oh, I know. We love that. Here's the pizza. <laughs> pizza is cooking. It's just so nice out. It's funny, the drive here, it was like 98 degrees, but it actually weirdly felt good. It is only early June, but we are in the desert. So yeah, I don't know. Sunset's happening behind me. Don't know if you can see it. Oh, that's actually very pretty. And so we're trying to figure out the best place to eat so that we can also eat this incredibly tasty smelling pizza that we just made and also see it. This kind of seems like the vibe where we want to eat, but it kind of doesn't really show us the sunset. I don't know. We're going to get creative here. We were just talking about how nice it is like to be in another home, just like cooking and like living as opposed to like someone else's house or whatever. And quarantine's just done a number, but you know, whatever it takes to keep everyone safe. God, that pizza smells so good. Absolutely. Amazing. Like, what? I knew that coming to the desert was going to be, you know, some bugs and stuff, but... Lauren just found a rat. Oh, was it open? Yeah, it was open. Yeah, we can't leave the doors it's open. Kind of cute. So there's a rat. We need to figure out a way He's to. He's there, but I think what we should do is you should open the door on the other side and I'll kind of corral him around. Do you see? I'm scared because I'm holding the door open. Okay, that's a lot better than a rat. Okay. We're gonna try and lure him with we a piece of cheese spare. into the trash can, and then we're gonna move the trash can outside, and then he'll be outside free. Just let him out here. So he's gonna run free. Well, I'm really glad it wasn't a rat. Honestly, the mouse was cute, and now he's gonna go outside and be free. Oh, oh, there he went. Be free! Yay! Okay, he's okay. We just had a sad slash cute moment with our new little resident friend. I named him Chubbs. He is a mouse. He lives out here. And we gave him some mozzarella cheese. I don't think he liked it, but he ran free. So that was that. And now here's this gorgeous sunset. We heard some strange noises, so we're gonna go explore. Documenting this. Look at how pretty this is. <sighs> I wouldn't doubt it. Let's go say hi. And then they never found us again. <laughs> We've decided to abandon that mission. Two girls walking into an um, abandoned looking bus at dusk may not be the best choice, maybe. No, we don't actually, <laughs> so <laughs> we'll say hi to our neighbors tomorrow. Yeah, if we make yeah. it to tomorrow. <laughs> and they never saw us again. <laughs> oh, okay, no, I'm not gonna joke about things like that. <laughs> Six and a half hours later. <laughs>
Basically, there were a lot of bugs in the other shipping container, so we moved Lauren's mattress in here. And Chubbs just wanted an invitation back here. Yes, Chubbs, if you guys aren't wait, aware. Wait, there's another. <gasps> it's the mess. There's, no, there's just bugs underneath your shoes. I honestly am desensitized now. I've seen a bunch of spiders and I'm look, not look, even. Look, 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 it's Chubbs, it's Chubbs, it's Chubbs. Where? It's <gasps> Chubbs. Oh my god. Oh my god, he was right I'm there. Oh, wow, I'm kind of shocked he wasn't No, he's, he's been like going back and forth. Is he like over there too? I don't know, but now I'm all nervous to be out here by myself. <laughs> you think? Is it creepy? I, don't know. I mean, the door is shut. Where is Chubbs' mama? <laughs>